Long day. Very fun. Very fun. Yeah, yeah. It's always fun for me as well. Yeah. 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 What's going on? Uh, Sherry from Poland will kill me by you. Don't say hi to me. Hi. hi. <laughs> and your Brazilian, Brazilian fans say hi. I'm I here. love the Brazilian fans. How did you like Brazil? It was awesome. I, uh, I, I, I'm I, dying to go to Rio. I only went to Sao Paulo. Oh, oh Rio? Really? Yeah, I'm yeah. from Rio. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm dying to go there. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's going on with Stefan? How is he dealing with uh, being there and not being there? So, you know, it's funny. I, I had a um, one of the hiatus I was talking to Julie Black, and she said, uh, and I was like, well, what's that been doing? She's like, oh, well, he's searching for his brother. And I was like, no, he's not. He's cut himself off. And he's left town. And she was like, I really like that. And so she wrote this really interesting take on Stefan. He's decided to shut off his emotions. And he, you think he's searching for his brother, but he's lying to him. He's starting his own life. Well, now, does, is that because he wants Elena back? No. It's because no. he wants something to do with anyone he's moved on. <laughs> he's like done. I'm yeah, done. done. That's it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to tease about love wise for seconds? Not in the first couple episodes, to tell you that much. It's the only thing I've read. So he's very dark this season? I wouldn't say that. He's actually quite content and happy. He's just he's just kind of moved on. He started his own life. Yeah. What, what do you think he's of his state of mind now? What, what, what I think he, he actually is very very, very emotionally affected by his brother's loss and Bonnie's loss, but he doesn't really want to deal with it. And uh, a year goes by. We open up the story, it's a year later. So everyone's dealing with it in a different way. And Stefan has just decided to deal with it in a, in a, in a way that is unexpected, is uncharacteristic. He, is he then, is Stefan then probably going to maybe cling on to one particular character um, during that process, say maybe Caroline? Well, I would like that, but now I don't know. In the first couple episodes, he sort of just doesn't want to do it anyway. We were told that it was only a four month jump. Really? <laughs> I was told it was a year. <laughs> Four months or a year ago? There's a significant amount of time. I don't, I don't know if it's four, but it's more. It's more than four, I feel like. I you think sure that is for like six months. Who said four months? <laughs> oh, well then Julie would know. Well, then it's four months. My bad. My bad. Okay. Give or take a few months. Yeah, whatever. Give or take. Multiply by three. Big deal. What are some of your favorite TV shows right now? Um, I like, uh, I don't watch a lot of TV, man, I'm not going to lie to you, but I watched, um, I, you know, everybody talks about it, so I watched the first two seasons of Game of Thrones. Oh, isn't it good? Yeah, yeah, it's quite good. Um, uh, it's out there, I don't even know. Orange is the New Black. I haven't seen it. Oh, Sherlock. The original. I watched Sherlock. I watched a few episodes of Sherlock, and I really like that. Um, and I really love, uh, uh, I like BBC. BBC does some really good stuff. Black. Was it? Or some I black. didn't see that one. Oh. That's the only one I went. But, what's that? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, I thought you were <laughs> something in there. Ready to no, I'm glad. Save me. Save me. <laughs> Say, but let's talk a little bit about, you know, we've got Caroline, um, Foster Terry. My fans on here, they love you. They love the whole stuff with Caroline. Um, is that something that you would like to see happen for the... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah. Okay. I want them to make out. I want them to get dirty. <laughs> I want them to get sexy. I want them to just get and go at it. And then, and, you know, see what happens. And then if they just want to be friends, it's cool. But at least they have that night, you know? And, and what about Alaric? Uh, any interactions possibly with Alaric? It's a Brazilian thing. Um, what? Really? Yes, Brazilian. Sounds Brazilian. What about the Alaric? And Alaric? 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 <laughs> I could just say it's <laughs> Viewer. Um, so what about Alaric? Well, what about the connection? Do we see a further connection? Possibly? I don't think him and Alaric even interact in the first couple episodes, to be honest with you. They don't. They don't. They're trying to stay on top of this. Is there any sort of flashback you would like to do? Yeah. Uh, maybe, uh... 
1980s with a mullet or something? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It's a Bon Jovi concert. Bon Jovi concert. Yeah. Oh, talks about that. Um, I love the flashbacks are my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing. Hands down. So, um, I, I mean, I like the Civil War flashbacks. I love the Civil War flashbacks. But it's hard playing a 17 year old man. I just turned 32. <laughs> It's getting tough. How about 70s flashback and drag? Oh, there you go. 70s flashback and drag? I feel like that's, your, that's like a secret dream that you have. Like, I feel like that was your dream last night. Oh, probably. Let's not go. Do you hear shooting in Atlanta? I enjoy it more. I used to really not like shooting in Atlanta. I used to really dislike it. And I hated being separated from L.A. and New York. And now... Uh, the city's grown so much, and I really like it a lot. It took a while. It took six years. How did you like playing a double ganger this oh, yeah. past season? Um, I like playing Tom. I mean, I love playing Silas. I actually loved. I actually loved it. Um, I didn't like working so much. <laughs> I didn't have any days off, but um, I liked it. But I'm glad that storyline's over. I think it's done. You know. You were just nominated for a Teen Choice Award. No, I was really, I was, yeah. I was really flattered. So, I was really flattered. What was your favorite line or scene? Um, everyone loves that one line that Silas did, does. Where he's like, "Knock, knock, the witch is dead." Yeah. No, knock, knock. Who's, where's the witch or whatever the hell it is? And he's like, "Where's she?" He's like, "I don't know. I killed her." Or something like, <laughs> I don't know, or something like that. And it was just like very fun. He's so sort of, he's such a jerk. I really like <laughs> Silas. <laughs> I just, you know, it's like, there's a million ways to play it, and it's like, I was just like, let's just make this guy, like, really funny. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be like, oh, I'm Silas. Yeah, like, oh, come on. Um, your character has gone through so many metamorphoses from season one to now. Yeah. Um, what has it been like for you as an actor to be able to do that, you know, to be able to have so many changes and developments in the character and, you yeah, know, keep it's up amazing. with it? When the Ripper storyline came about, I was so happy about it because, you know, I think I wanted to make him the anti-hero for once, you know, and that was amazing. And the writers respect, you know, I, I, I sort of have requests and they've always been really good about it, granting me what I, you know, what I asked for. And, and, and usually I'm in sync with them, and that's why, because they, they, they go, yeah, we agree with you. And it's nice. We have a sort of, we have a good relationship like that. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much.